Hey guys, what's up? So this is a channel, YouTube channel dedicated to reviewing and overviewing luxury winter coats. And in today's video, I'm going to do a comparison between the North Face Gotham bomber jacket and the Canada Goose Chilliwick bomber jacket. So there's a huge difference in the price. The Gotham jackets retail for about $300 and the North and the Chilliwick jackets retail for about 800 bucks. So I'll get into describe some of the ways in which they're different, some ways in which the Canada Goose is better because in general it is and then, but hopefully get into those details enough so you'll know if it's worth it to shell out a lot more money for a Chilliwick versus a North Face, or if you decide those features that detail in the details I described aren't worth it. First off is the brand. The Canada Goose is a pretty polarizing brand. People either love it or they hate it. But when you're paying $800, you're paying for the brand. You're paying that money because people know Canada Goose makes really awesome coats, really warm coats, and some people can obviously afford it and they can afford to price it that way because people keep buying their coats. So there's, you, if you have, if you're really stuck on value, Canada Goose might not be the best because you're paying a lot for the brand and you're paying a lot just for that extra luxurious features that they offer. Now with the North Face, there's the new Gotham jackets. This is the Gotham one, but the new Gotham jackets don't have down fill in them. And they also use fake fur on them. The Canada Goose uses real fur and um, I know People have a big problem with the fur and understand there's ethical issues with it. I'm going to speak to functional use of these jackets. So I'm going to say that the fur, real fur on the Canada Goose coats is a better insulator and it's better at keeping your face warm than fake fur will. Also the down fill, down fill is a better insulator and it's a little bit more breathable than the synthetic stuff in the North Face jackets. I've worn both of them and I can attest to the Canada Goose jacket keeping me warmer. You're going to pay for the fur. You're going to pay for the the down fill inside the jacket as well but if it's worth it to you it might be worth it to you um getting into the kind of the aspects and the features of the jacket so the gotham jacket has a nice pocket here for your cell phone and that's a nice feature um in general it is a comfortable jacket so it's it's pretty well designed in that it fits it fits and it feels comfortable you can wear it without feeling too bogged down by it um you have these nice hammer more pockets down here you have this rib cuff on the bottom and rib cuffed here and versus the Chilliwick jacket, you have the hand worn pockets up here and you got the drop down pockets down here. Personally, I like these hand worn pockets up here a lot more. They are more of a natural place to put your hands. It's great because I don't have to wear gloves and I can walk around and feel really comfortable in the jacket. The North Face Gotham jacket is heavier. I don't have the exact specifics, but it's going to feel a little heavier than the Canada Goose Chilliwick jacket will. So for the other features and the quality, if you've seen my other review of the Gotham jacket, you'll know that I have, there's some aspects of the jacket that I kind of question the quality of. The zipper isn't a heavy duty zipper. It's kind of broken down here in my time wearing it and I haven't worn it that rough. There's also some fill leaking out which I've noticed more and more and that's true for some Canada Goose coats. I've just noticed that this seems to have more fill leaking out. Also the fake fur doesn't age that well in my opinion. I don't think it looks that great after a while and like I said doesn't provide as much warmth as the real fur. So some of those aspects and also also the rib cuff have kind of gotten more worn and they've gotten less they've gotten less elastic so they don't cling as tightly to your wrist can't the Chilliwick jackets not this one because this is new obviously but the Chilliwick jackets that I've had they don't have that same problem they have some wear on the down here on the kind of near the elbow along under your arm but in general the cuffs stay well the cuffs stay pretty tight to your wrist and the elastic drop the elastic on your waist will also stay pretty tight and nice there. So for the quality issues, you can pay, you're gonna pay a little bit more for a jacket like the Chilliwick, and it will last you a little longer, at least in my opinion, from wearing these two jackets. There's less features that kind of wear down as quickly as the North Face jacket does. Um, as it, when it comes to warmth, the North Face jacket does a pretty good job of keeping you warm. You pay $300 for a jacket. And you're wearing it around the city and you're like commuting in and it's comfortable when you're sitting down because it's just a bomber length and it will keep you pretty warm in 20 degree weather um i'd worry a little bit about it when it gets to the single digits or the negative and the negatives um but it will keep you pretty warm so if warmth is a big issue one of the bigger issues for you i don't see a huge difference in the warmth i know the chilliwick with the hood and the tunnel hood feature on this jacket so you can zip the jacket all the way up and provides a really small enclosure for your face and it keeps this little pocket of air and keeps your face warm. 
And if that's something that you really prefer, and you might like the Chilwick for that reason, just because it keeps your face warmer than the Gotham jacket, but if you're just looking for core warmth and overall warmth, the North Face holds up pretty well, especially if you're not in pretty severe conditions which most people buy Canada Goose probably aren't, but if you're in Canada, in the northern U.S. states, or elsewhere, you might rather go with the Chilliwick or Canada Goose because they are really engineered to keep you warmer. In terms of the features of the jacket, I like the Canada Goose Chilliwick more, the hand warm pockets as I've described. It's just, it just has all the things I need in a jacket. There's an inside pocket in here too. There's not a huge amount of pocket storage, so if you're doing work outside, you might prefer the Gotham Jack because there's more pockets. Chilliwick has these drop down pockets down here, with Velcro enclosures, but they're pretty small. I haven't really found an issue. I just keep my phone in my pocket and have a wallet in one of these pockets and I'm good to go. I like how the Chilliwick is a little more minimalistic, so there's less noise on the jacket. It's just kind of cuts out things you don't really need. The North Face jacket has nice pockets. It's got these arm pocket right here. The Chilliwick also has an arm pocket right here as well. But it has a little bit more pockets on the front. It's a little busier. Um, this is a nice foam pocket here, I have noticed. But in general, I like the Chilliwick in just that. It has what it, it has what you need and doesn't have what you don't need. So I kind of like the Chilliwick for those kind of features and especially the nice hand-worn pockets. So I'm going to recap the differences and between these jackets just in case you're a little confused or I didn't explain it that well. So the Canada Goose Chilliwick jacket will keep you warmer. Not incredibly warmer, but it'll keep you warmer. It'll keep your face quite a bit warmer and you keep your core a little warmer than the North Face jacket. In terms of the features, the Chilliwick has probably better features for you if you're just living in the city and you're not doing a lot of work and you don't need to carry a lot of things in your pockets. The Chilliwick will have better features like the hand, high hand worn pockets and just generally the more minimalistic aesthetic of it. It will really come down to how much you think these certain aspects that I've went over of how the Chilliwick is better than the Gotham jacket is really worth that extra like $500 for it. It's not going to be worth it for everyone, but hopefully I detailed those kind of features enough for you to kind of think about it and decide for yourself if you think it's worth getting the Chilliwick over the Gotham jacket. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned because I'll be doing a warmth test. I'll compare the North Face Gotham jacket with the Chilliwick jacket using a thermal imaging camera and then I'll show the two photos in comparison to see kind of which one's warmer. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Um, always subscribe and like my videos because it keeps me making these things. Also if you have any more suggestions for review comparisons throw them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. If, if the coats come in I'll definitely do a review comparison of those two. So thanks for watching guys and stay warm.